Hi, I'm Gavin, and these are the Coffee Conspiracies. In this episode, I explored Croydon to discover whether you should open your craft brewery there. Looking at London and its surrounding boroughs, it's almost as if manufacturing and industry no longer exist, except it's still a significant part of the economy and of employment. This site on Selsdon Road is a 500 square meter spot in the midst of motor repair and other light industrial businesses. It's a short drive from the railway station and easily accessible both within Croydon and across London. There's plenty of parking, lots of space for your trucks to get in and out, and it seems a quiet oasis near the happy chaos of the town centre. There are two railway bridges either side of the entrance to the complex, so you'll need to keep loads below 3.5 metres. And Croydon, with its booming city centre and the growing interest in city-produced craft beer, would seem a likely spot to explore. Unit 9 is one of the larger sites in this complex, and the offered rent at £65,000 a year is almost two-thirds higher than its rated value, which would give an impression of the scarcity of quality industrial space. For the area overview though, vacancies of 14% are about average for the UK, but the competition for site redevelopment will come from housing. As I discussed in the first Croydon episode, a significant chunk of that vacancy rate will be held by sites waiting on redevelopment. It still seems higher than one would expect though, and I'd explore that with the landlord to see if some relief is available. You should also contact the economic development team at Croydon Urban Edge for help with those negotiations. Looking at our Pikaia estimates for the site, break-even is about £2 million a year, with a staff estimate of 14. It is a large site, but the average craft brewer watching this is probably having a small heart attack contemplating moving that volume of beer. Before you pass out, a brief digression on the way in which these figures are calculated. I have no idea who or what will go into any of these sites. All our data are sourced from government statistics and we effectively de-anonymize each site, but we do so based on averages. That means all nuance is lost. At one extreme in a similar 500 square meter site is a labor intensive factory assembling widgets and with 30 people all clustered together. At the other extreme are two people using the site to store stuff. Our data end up with an average. It's a useful guide and it gives you a foundation on which to apply to your own circumstances but a craft brewery doesn't usually have a large staff requirements, and so our estimate of 14 is way on the high side. You can probably get by with three or four people, including brewing, bottling, and distribution. This will significantly reduce the break-even requirements to about £800,000 a year, maybe even less. 520 square meters is sufficient space for a 30-barrel brewery with bottling, labeling, storage, and average production of about 420,000 liters per year. If you're careful, you may even squeeze in a tap room. With typical pricing of £2 a litre, this would lead to revenues of about £850,000 a year. If you had demand for it, two brews a week on a 30 barrel system would produce almost 500,000 litres, so there is room for expansion on this kit. If you're starting from scratch, selling £850,000 a year in what is becoming a highly competitive and fast growing industry is probably a bit of a stretch. However, if you're an existing smaller brewery looking to expand or have a fair amount of capital to act as runway if you're starting from scratch, it seems a useful place to consider. This is the last in the series on Croydon, and I must say that I enjoyed my visit. It's one of those places that feels tremendously fertile for an entrepreneur. You can't have this level of population and economic growth and then not be opportunities. As always, the links are below in the commentary and I encourage you to contact Croydon Urban Edge to see what the local authority can do to help regarding rates, lease negotiations and access to finance. I wish you well with your prospecting in the area and until next time, let's go find some coffee.